Okay, guys, being here. Um, so, um, okay, so <laughs> um, this, um, what do we call this? Waffle step. Yep, so it looks like a ceiling. Anyway, um, I've done this. Uh, I don't think we should use adaptive family for this. Um, uh, the easiest uh, way of doing this is uh, we can just use uh, Beam System. I think it's very very simple. So I've done one uh, video before. So it's this. Here's a link. Day three seven nine. So basically, just we just need to use uh, a Beam System. So and then uh, use the footprint of that um, ceiling or floor, and then it will or create one direction and then just copy and paste in the same location then we can just uh, uh, change this direction and then we can uh, create the whole system and also we can use draw geometry so it will be uh, uh, can join them together so it's yeah it's very very simple just so have a have a try um, so in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to do um, Floor and wall tiles and uh, show um, make them show up in s uh, schedule. So, okay. So um, I believe that um, in old version Revit we can't do that um, material sc schedule um, for some system family like floor and, uh, and s uh, walls. Um, I'm not sure which one, but in um, yeah, I think I'm not sure 23 or 24, but uh, we can't do uh, materials uh, take off for all the um, all the elements, including the system families. So, um, okay, so this is a a project. So uh, we need some wall and some floor. So let's just create some wall. So I just use WA wall. Uh, maybe I'll just start with a generic wall. And edit type duplicate. I'll just create a new one. Okay, so a new. So let's go to the. So let's go edit assembly. So um, here the so structure. So I'll just leave this as as uh, actually. I'll just maybe see if there's a concrete or anything. Um, precast concrete. Okay, so let's just use precast concrete. Two hundred mil. That's fine. So now let's click insert. And then, so that's a new layer. So let's move it out of the uh, core boundary. So that's uh, and change this one to. I'll just use a finish, finish four, finish one, finish one four. <laughs> um, okay. So let's just find a tile material. So I'll search T I L E. Um, okay. So let maybe just use this ceramic tile. So click OK and that give it a thickness, maybe a ten. So that's all finish okay and then we can just create I'm gonna just create a rectangular shape okay so that's our wall so let's go to 3d view have a look uh, looks like uh, that's exterior wall tile that's fine um, all good oh, actually maybe maybe just flip them so let's select all sp space just uh, make them in t internal uh, tile Okay, so now this these are the walls, and then we can create a floor. So let's go floor. So generic 150, that's fine. So edit type duplicate. Let's create a new one. Um, so I'll, I'll maybe um, for this I'll use a uh, concrete. Um, let's just cast in situ. Um, okay, so that's a structure. So click insert move up so it will be a finish so I'll use a finish one four and then um, I'll use the same tile actually T R L E ceramic ceramic tile so okay and then also a thickness I'll just give it 10 okay and okay and then uh, we're going to use pick wall tab click and then uh, for this I think, uh, let me think, should we use, yeah, it doesn't matter because this is for uh, more, uh, for the scheduling, okay, so just, I'll, I'll choose the internal uh, face actually uh, into the core, that, yeah, that's fine. Um, okay, finish, so now we have floor tile, wall tile, and that's all. So the next step is we need to create a, a schedule, so it's on the view. Go to schedule and then that's material takeoff. 
okay material takeoff because we're we are calculating the material not calculating like uh, how many uh, the wall the area of the wall the area of the floor we're calculating uh, the area of materials okay so let's use material takeoff uh, so first we need to choose so because this for this one we 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 are we use um we have two category one is floor and one is wall so we need to pick either so pick one specific uh, category or we just use multi uh, category so in this case we're going to use multi category which means uh it will pick any uh, category um that um con contains that material okay so if we if if you create a like a family or model in place family with uh with that material it will also be ca uh, included into this uh schedule um the face oh actually the face is this is not yeah uh let's ignore this one because i just noticed this quite um interesting I'll, I'll explain that later but for now let's just create this uh, schedule so we will need to know what that material is so if you scroll down so these are the information in the material so if you go to the, mat the material there there are a lot of um, parameters so we're going to use um, let me think we can use material name material name is the name of the material <laughs> And also we can use um, like a description so I think uh, so, so it's all up to you so let, let's just add this name maybe description as well and uh, and another thing about we need area so where's the area uh, oh here so material area so I think that's all so click OK and then oh, we have this so you can see all the con precast concrete uh, cer ceramic tile so yeah so these are all the information in the material so if you go you can change them right so you can go to manage or actually it's easier to go to your model select wall edit type click edit click on this and then uh, you can directly so it's all under here so identity so this is a name we have this one in the schedule we have also have this one so you can probably just pick one you don't you don't need to have two but sometimes you need to have some you know you can write uh, you can also add a comment and then write something uh, you you want right so um, and that's all good so click OK click OK and then go back um, you can also in this one so maybe we can just use the name I think that's all good so we can just delete if you don't want this one anymore you can delete or you can just uh, maybe just still have them but just hide it uh, you might want to use this as a like a, a filter or, or so sorting right so, uh, so um, yeah <laughs> so in for this one let's just delete it okay so now we need to calculate the tile but we we need to filter out anything other than the tile right so let's go to here so we need to go to filter and then we just need to add this one so for we can we can use a name we can use the name that not does not equal and just pick the tile oops wrong one this one so this means if I click on OK so anything oh hell wrong one uh, sorry <laughs> sorry wrong one equals okay equals <laughs> uh, okay so now you can see all oh, it's all this tile but they are still separate so separate separate uh, elements um, so you can see actually uh, I'll just let me close this floor plan have this one type WT so we have both uh, screens so this is 3d view this is the schedule so this is one thing very useful is if you so you, you can see if you select one element it will also highlight the element in the model so click so you can see this is very useful so sometimes you uh, imagine you have a very complicated model and then you create a schedule and then it tells you something 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 uh, and then you don't know 
what that is. What you need to do is you need to select that thing and go to your model. Just click once on the screen so you can see you still have this element uh, selected. And then you can just click on this section box. So it will, it will go just cro cropped the element. So it's very, very um, good. Uh, if you have a very compli com complicated model, so you can click on something and then click on this uh, view and then still have that element selected and click on this. So it will just uh, take, yeah, take, take you to the element. So it's very, very good uh, way to, you know, find something, right? So especially when you're trying to tidy up your uh, material schedule. So this is very useful. Okay, so let's, um, what's next? <laughs> Okay, so now we need to, to calculate the overall, right? So we probably don't want to uh, Revit to tell us all oh, what's this one, so because they are all the same, the same material. So we can go to sorting and go to sorting. We just need to, um, I think we still need to have that. We go, uh, hang on, let me just uncheck this one first and see what happens. Okay, so click OK. Yeah, I think so you can see it's, um, it just put all the ceramic tile together and then give us a variance because now it's not calculating. So we still need to go to formatting and then just tell Revit. So we want to calculate this area and I use total. Okay, so now if I click OK, it will give us an overall, um, overall uh, uh, area. So Okay, so this is this is one uh, um, method you can just uh, calculate everything, right? But sometimes we wanted to give it give some details of like uh, each. Oh, this is one wall one wall two wall three wall four. So how can we do that to create a schedule to tell us? Oh, that's floor area. So we can we can add another. Let's just go to. Um, I think we can go to filter. And maybe um, let me think. Which one do we should we add? Um, maybe maybe we can add. So you have options. So these are the parameters on the material. Okay, so they are different. So you can see you can you have material comments, right? So that comments is a comments in under the material, right? But in this scenario, because uh, the materials are the same. We need to um, we need to separate them in the element. So which means I think this should be this comment. Okay, so let's add this one, and then maybe this one go up. And also we need to go back to sorting, and we are going to tick this box because we wanted to revert to show every instance, right? So click OK. Okay, so now we have this. So now let me just go there. So uh, let's just check. So this is north, this is south, so this is north wall. So if I select this one, so you should be able to see this comment. So this is a comment for the wall. So let's add a uh, north wall. Okay, so and this should show here, right? So say same as wall. So this is west. Wall, and this is um, this is uh, uh, east wall. Okay, so now these are all the comments. So and then same this one's floor. Okay, so floor, and now we can. Sorry about that. Um, so we can tell uh, which one's which, right? So this is floor, east, south, west, north, west, north. Um, okay, so. Now, how can we do the calculating? So we need to uh, s uh, do it slightly differently. So we need to go edit field. Uh, let me let me check which one. Uh, not this one. Uh, yeah, we, I think we need to do this. So grand total, and we are going to use um, area. Oh hell, not this one. Uh, use folder, I think. Uh, let, let's try this. Okay. 
uh, hang on, something's not quite right. Oh, yeah, I think we should use cer cer ceramic. <laughs> yeah, ceramic name. Okay, so foot. Okay, yeah, so that's correct. So you can see uh, um, five, overall five. Yeah, that's the grand total of all the area. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's a little bit confusing. So, oh, which one's which? Yeah, so what's this one? And what's this one? See? <laughs> yeah, very confusing. Anyway, so yeah, just have a test and then you should be able to... Uh, if I if I do not do this, what what's happening? Uh, it's still... Yeah, it's still showing this. Um, yeah, I think you can probably... Uh, with you know more materials you can have a grand total of you know part of the material and then you can or uh, maybe if if you can have you know multi different materials in one schedule you can uh, you can have a total of tile you can have a total of carpet for example and then you can have a grand total of everything so maybe that's how it works <laughs> anyway so yeah that's that's all um I think uh, what else? Yeah, I think that's all. So still, so it's very. This is a very good um, you, tool you can you can utilize to you know make your uh, make make it easier to so you can just use uh, s click in any of, you can click multiple actually you can click uh, maybe two or three four yeah. Yeah, so you can cl uh, click here, multiple um, t table, and then you can s it select all the element in your model. Okay, so um, and also if you adjust, so you can see if you adjust your, so this is you can see change change two walls, right, and also the floor. Um, if you adjust the height, it also changes the change the area in this schedule. Schedule, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I think that's it. So um, material takeoff. So on the view schedule material takeoff and and yeah and multiple. Um, quickly, quickly, um, one thing. So I'm not sure why. I think it happens um, multiple times to me. I'm not sure if anyone's noticed this. So you can see I create a project, a new project. Okay, so I just create a new one. And this template should be the proper one. So it's in the um, it's a Autodesk uh, architecture template, I believe. And yeah, of course it's uh, 2023, but I just used that same folder, but should be the same. But previously, the it, um, it's okay in 23. But if I create a new project with this template, you know, if I go to face, so you can see past should be on the top, but this new construction is on the top. So which means the name should be. Um, the other way around so existing should be on the top I'm not sure why this is happening but if this happens to you so it, it can be quite tri uh, tri um, confusing because if you if you don't know what's going on and, and if you create a project and then you can see the this new construction should be existing and this, and this existing should be new construction and then when you try to model something and use different face filter, it can be very, very confusing. So, what you need to do is just to you know change the name. You can't really like swap them, so you can you can't move it down or move this up. What you can do is just rename them. Okay, so rename this as existing. I just can't do the same name, but yeah, yeah, something like this. And then this will fix. So just uh, existing. I'll uh, just control C, control V. We can't. Oh, oh, we can't have the same <laughs> this description. So interesting. Proposed. So yeah. So this 
is what you need to do. So once you change that, and everything should be good. Okay, so everything should be good. So now everything. So these are just uh, existing yet yeah, all good. So existing element. I just quickly uh, do something existing element, and if I change to new, and then become black. So all good. Previous and new. Previous and right. So okay. So that's it. Um, if you have any questions please let me know and also just be aware that uh, if you use a very old uh, version of Revit I'm not sure which version so you might not be able to do it because it won't um, calculate the materials in system system uh, family like walls roof floor seating okay so that's all uh, thanks for watching I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.